Queen City News staying on top of the developing story today, the unprecedented search of former President Trump's Florida estate. An unsealed search warrant now reveals the FBI uncovered documents that were labeled top secret. Court papers were released this afternoon after a judge signed off on the unsealing of that warrant that prompted the FBI search on Monday. A property receipt shows the FBI seized 11 sets of classified records. Some records were labeled top secret of the highest level involving national security. The warrant also shows the DOJ is investigating possible violations of the Espionage Act and other crimes. Political science professor at Davidson College, Dr. Susan Roberts, joins us now. And Dr. Roberts, first, thank you so much for being here with us this evening. Um, before the documents were officially released, we heard in this newscast from North Carolina Congressman Ted Budd, who said that the public should be able to see more about what led up to the search and why the FBI went there in the first place. So my question to you is, looking at these charges, uh, you know, how, how, just how serious are we talking right now? If you can give us some perspective on that. Well, I think some of these are very serious. You know, if you look at um, if you're planning or holding the information that could be a threat to the United States, um, I think it's not so much the record keeping and the archive uh, information as it is the type of information. I don't think there's any question now that Trump did take some information and some of it has been seen to be top secret or very classified. And I think just classified is one thing, but top secret is another. And that's a concern, though, too, is like the question is, why did he take some of these things down to his place in Mar-a-Lago? And also, does this step up the timeline for him possibly to announce his presidency again for 2024? Well, I think it's definitely something that feeds to his base. Why did he do it? It could be a flagrant violation. It could be unwitting. It could be careless. Um, and it just could be, you know, flaunting his nose at, um, you know, the new incoming administration and uh, the fact that he saw himself as a very um, unilateral president with, with almost unlimited power. So I think um, either he knew what was in it, it was flagrant or, you know, there's got to be some reason you take that information to your personal home. There's a lot to process with all of this. Um, just to kind of recap, the FBI recovered 11 sets of classified documents. Uh, they took four sets of top secret documents, three sets of secret documents, and three sets of confidential documents. When you heard this news as breaking news this afternoon, um, kind of take me through your thoughts. Well, I was pretty fascinated and tried to learn, you know, the classification sequence. I mean, what what constitutes top secret versus um, confidential or secret? And some of those have to do with how many people can see those and where they can be seen. And um, some of these, these special access, are only seen by a very limited number of people in very secure facilities. And so that's what fascinated me because um, these don't seem to be uh, in the kind of facility that you would think they'd be very safe. And uh, I think at one point Trump said, we'll put a lock on the door. But what gave, went through my mind is it's very complicated as to who can see, how you can use, and how the president can declassify information. Mm. And that's a big question, too. Trump says uh, later today that he did declassify some of this, but some of this, uh, that's the real sensitive question. Also, uh, politically speaking here, a lot of the Trump supporters have tried to bash the FBI. And is this a winning strategy politically going forward and trying to rally the base? I think it's um, politically um, it will rally the base and it will rally those acolytes of Trump. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to rally the people who voted for Trump, but a certain kind of the MAGA nation, it's really going to, it's like red meat. And they want to say, um, they said for Hillary Clinton and her emails, mm -hmm. lock her up. And so there's a lot of um, fodder for, um, you know, civil unrest, to put it mildly. Dr. Susan Roberts, thank you so much. Always great talking with you, giving us such good insight about how to be able to process all this information uh, as we sift through this, this data given to us. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks. Mm -hmm.